Thank you very much for coming, everyone. It's really good to see you all. And actually, I think this is probably a record. So awesome. Friday evening as well. So much appreciated. Um, just to introduce quickly, um, my name is Ed. Um, I'm here alongside Sandrine, who both of us run uh, Le Wagon in London. We've also got Boris Paya and his brother, Roman Paya, who are the two, two of the three co-founders who are over from Paris today. Um, so it's very good to have them. And obviously, we have our amazing students, now developers, who are looking a little bit exhausted after nine weeks. But we're going to stand up today. They're going to present their amazing products which they built. So thanks very much for coming. And enjoy. So a little bit about Le Wagon, or Le Wagon, as I pronounce it in English. Um, we are a coding boot camp, clearly. Um, it was founded in Paris in 2013. Um, we're currently present in 20 cities worldwide, and we sort of we've built this nine-week coding boot camp, and the entire purpose of it is to bring technical skills to creative people and entrepreneurs, and people who want to build an MVP and prototype their own ideas, and also people wanting to find interesting jobs in the tech industry. So in this boot camp, not only do we teach the skills needed in web development, like HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Ruby, Rails, etc. But we also give you the mindset. And that's the mindset to work together efficiently and effectively in a team and to build and prototype your own ideas by yourself after this course. This is how it works. For the last nine weeks, 19 aspiring developers and entrepreneurs have been learning to code. It's totally nuts to think that nine weeks ago, they couldn't write a line of code, really, apart from Archie. Um, <laughs> and they played typewriting racing games all the time, but anyway. But look, no, seriously, they couldn't write a line of code. And to think that in nine weeks, they've now built, or built the skills to then build their own products in only two weeks at the end of the course. So 10 working days. It's a very short period of time to then launch it here in front of you. And that is an extremely impressive Impressive job, and if any of you are developers here in the room, you, you'll understand just how hard that is. Um, it's, a, it's a huge feat. Um, you know, just yesterday, or two weeks ago, they invented, they designed, they coded, uploaded yesterday their own products to a URL for the whole world to see, and it's very impressive in just 10 days. So, let's kick off. Um, guys, this is it, nine weeks. So, to kick off, we're gonna bring up our first team, and it is Katie, Kat, Josh, and Archie. Their product is to play sports with people near you. And it's called Sportal. So please, Katie. Okay. Thank you. So hi, guys. I'm Katie. Um, so uh, I like to think of myself as quite a sporty person. And at school and at university, I played quite a lot of sport. And I did a lot of lacrosse and netball. Um, and since I moved to London, I found that it's been pretty hard for me to try and continue playing the amount of sport I did alongside a full-time job. And I just can't commit to a team that plays and trains a few times a week like I would want to. Um, and what I really want to be able to do is just to join a team every so often for the odd game um, when I fancy it and maybe help them out while I'm doing it. Um, so I found this app uh, called Sportal, um, and that aims to do exactly that. So I'm going to log in and see how it works. Cool, so I'm going to sign in with my Facebook, hopefully, if it works. <laughs> Perfect, so I'm signed in. Um, and I'm going to create my profile. So I'll add a username and uh, my gender, obviously female, um, address. I live in Baker Street. It's seen that we've done this before. And <laughs> uh, my bio, I, I love sport. I'm going to fill the rest of that in later. And then my sport preferences. Um, so Clearly a lot of sports on here. Um, for now, I'm just going to choose lacrosse and netball as the sports that I know that I play a lot of, or would like to play a lot of, I should say. So let's update my profile. Perfect. So that's me. That's back of my head, at least. Um, and so if we scroll up and go to the home page. Cool. So let's go to the home page. Um, right. So I'm looking for a game. 
Um, what do I want? To, where do I want to play? Well, I live in I live in Baker Street in London, so let's put that in, and press search. Cool. So there's 11 events available. Um, that's quite a lot. Um, let's have a look where they are. Uh, toggle map in the corner, um, which is cool. There's there's quite a lot in central London. Um, they all seem to be lacrosse and netball, which is cool. So if I let, let's have a look at the at the search criteria on the side. Um, so. It's pulled out my, uh, my preferences from what I put on earlier, so it knows I like lacrosse and netball, so that's what we've got. Um, let's have a look at the type. Uh, these seem to be all sorts of different sports, and um, I don't really like playing sports with men, so let's, let's just go ladies. <laughs> uh, and let's do another search and see what that gives us. Cool, so there's now only five events. Um, and the one at the top... Uh, I can see that two of my friends are playing with. Um, so Alyssa and Kat are actually both playing in this fun lacrosse league match. And it's only a mile away, so it looks perfect for me. Um, so I'm going to have a look at that one. Because here we go, fun lacrosse league match. A um, few game details, so it's competitive, which is, which is great. Um, it's happening this Saturday. Um, it requires a lacrosse stick and boots, which is... Little issue because I don't actually have my lacrosse stick in London. Um, but description they're a player down for their weekly lacrosse league match, looking for a defense, which is what I am, ideal. Um, and they like winning, which I also like, so that's, that's great too. <laughs> and their captain looks lovely. Um, she likes trance, which might be an issue for me, but let's deal with that later. Um, cool, so I'm going to request to join this match. Perfect. And I've got a nice little icon, so. Uh, I think I'm all, I'm all requested. Um, I just want to check that I'm actually able to play considering I don't have a stick. Um, so let's just ask her. So, hey, Liz, good to meet you. Um, I'm really excited about the match. Um, <laughs> but I don't have a lacrosse stick in London. Uh, would I be able to borrow one? And fingers crossed, uh, perfect. So Liz has one that I can borrow, which is great. Um, and fingers crossed, that means that she'll let me join her match. And it's all... <laughs> it's nice that she's so quick and uh, it's... <laughs> I'm really glad that, uh, that, that, that I'm not letting them play a man down and I'm able to help them. <laughs> so, um, okay... <laughs> So let's go back to the home page and stop these guys having a conversation. Cool, and I've got a, I've got a message right there, thanks, and a notification. So let's check that out. Ah, and Lizzie has accepted my request to join it a few seconds ago. So it sounds like she liked me. Obviously, my chat was great. Um, and here we go. There it is. It's pretty easy. Um, she's going to see me there tomorrow, 12.30, so I might need to ramp up my sporting abilities before then. Um, and I've got a whole list of the details. So, simple, easy as that. Um, so, I, I hope you liked our demonstration um, and you like our app. It's now live on sportal.org, so you can check it out. Um, I don't actually think this match is happening tomorrow, so please don't sign up. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's now live, and I'd like to thank my team. So, Kat, who's done most of the front end work, and Josh and Archie sitting down, who did a lot of the back end side of things, um, and the chat. Uh, <laughs> so, um, perfect. And I'd also just like to thank Lewagon for everything and teaching us all this over such a short period of time. Thanks, guys. Awesome. Totally awesome. Well, we're on. Yeah, thanks, guys. That was great. It was always a bit of a gamble having Josh on the old chat because he likes to joke around a bit, so that was really good, no swearing. Um, but uh, there's a great first example of our first uh, demo for Batch 54, guys, so thank you. So next up, we have Alison, Takahiro, and Stephen. Stephen likes to go dating, and Takahiro too, and uh, things, and they're <laughs> chatting, and the, the product that they've built is basically a dating in detail website, or web application. And it's called Shiny Unicorn, all right? <laughs> now, we'll welcome them to the stage. Alison and Tucker, and Stephen, please. 
Thank you very much. We're just signing in here with, with Boris. All right, Stephen, you got a mic there. One, two, all right, and then totally awesome. I'll leave it over to you guys. Cool. Thanks. Thank you. All right, guys, I have a very important question to ask all of you. So how many of you actually struggle to find amazing day spots or, or just good day spots? There you go. Thank you. I feel your pain. You, you, everyone. All right. Seems like there's a ton, right? Um, as you can tell by my American accent, I'm from the States. I've been in London for the past nine weeks. And, you know, also I've been doing this coding bootcamp for the past nine weeks. And, you know, it's been a struggle to find, like, amazing spots to go because, you know, there's all these different websites out there, like Yelp, Foursquare, you know, Google Maps, like, you know what I'm talking about. Um, a lot of the time you have, you know, price information, description, photo, like random photos. Um, but for me, like, the most important thing about going on, going on a date is about build, being able to build a deep connection with someone um, in a setting where you know, I can do whatever I want uninter uninterrupted. <laughs> that, that <can't> <laughs> but um, anyway, so I, I, I complained this uh, issue to my friend, good friends, Allison and Takahiro, and then they told me about this amazing website called Shiny Unicorn. Um, the name is a little dodgy, but you know, I'm going to give it a go because I have a date right after this uh, demo day tonight. So I'm going to go to um, Shortage, and I'm going to check out the bars and cafes in the area. Cool. What kind of magical mood do you want? So for me, in terms of mood, it's all about fun and adventurous because that allows me to find out if the girl has the same sense of humor as me. All right, cool. All right, so we've got three unicorns on the map, and... The one on the west side uh, is the one that's closer to my apartment, which is very important. <laughs> All right, cool. Now that's uh, 98 Bar and Lounge. Okay, it's got a very funky name. And I can see that, you know, it's got like the weird like pepper couch and some, some speaker going on. Okay, couch comfort in this level. All right, that's, that's interesting because, you know, the other platforms like don't have these kind of very detailed preferences. And for me, these criteria really matter. Um, and compared to BrewDog and, um, you know, compared to Ace Hotel, seems like 98 uh, has got the better vibe, so I want to, you know, find out more about it. Cool. Um, all right, zebra prints, lavish color, full fittings, and Victoriana Lendis cocktail bar, a fairy tale vibe. I mean, fairy tale vibe. How can you say no to that, right? Cool. All right, so this bar, this venue, seems to have a lot of like very kind of weird themed out rooms or spots, but so I, I want to like you know find out more about them in detail. Okay, this one, this got you know furry couch with a very colorful like rainbowy pillows. I don't know about that. It's like uh, it doesn't really have a discreet vibe. Um, okay, so this is kind of like jungled out piano. It's more amenable to like a group kind of situation, not for me. Man, this is it because it's got a very imperial looking uh, you know, couch. I can sit right next to the girl. It, there, there's even a pony, kind of unicorn-ish vibe. We can take turns like sitting on it, take selfies together. And if the girl's into that, I'm, 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 I'm good, you know? That's the vibe. All right, cool. So I think I'm you know, good for that. Oh, reviews, there are reviews as well. All right, so we've got different unicorns, like rainbow, sunglasses. All right, I'm a little confused, but vibe amplifier. Why not? You know? I, all right, so I've made up my mind. I'm going to book this spot uh, with the pony. Uh, let's shoot for 730. Watch <laughs> it. <laughs> Cool. All right. So I, before I was a baby unicorn, now I'm a cool unicorn with sunglasses. Wow. So I can level up. All right. Cool. Um, all right. So I guess I'm going to keep on using, the, using this website because it's pretty awesome. Right, Allison? Yeah. Well, you didn't really understand the whole like unicorn status, but I'm kind of going to clear that up for you guys. Um, so this is my dashboard. I've been using Shiny Unicorn a lot for finding date spots. It's absolutely amazing. I'm a badass unicorn, obviously, so you know that you know it's a good platform, nice, good style. Um, all right, so yesterday night I've been on a date. It was super cool at this 
place I used to work um, at called WeWork in Moorgate. And I actually found a great, sorry, Google Campus, so no offense. Um, and I actually found this really cool spot within the venue. And I'm sure that Taka will appreciate it some, at some point when he's going to go on the date. So I really want to share my feedback and my spots with the whole shiny unicorn um, you know, community. So I'm going to go to the spots. We work more gates. And um, it's in my favorite, obviously, because I go there a lot. And OK, I'm going to create a spot. So um, I'm going to pick the picture I took yesterday, because I did remember of my fellow you know, people within the community, and decided to post it. And I'm going to call it, it was kind of comfy, techy, sexy, couch. Yeah? You get that? Yeah? And I got my personal assistant here, so you know. Um, all right. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, we're good. All right, let's add this spot. Yeah, yeah, it's fine, yeah. <laughs> oh, and free beer. I forgot that, yeah. I told you that earlier. Thanks for reminding. Um, so I added this spot. That's cool. I'm going to add a review because, oh, well, yeah, I earned a point, so that's how it works. You know, I add a spot, I earn a point. Now I'm going to create a, a, a review. So let's go there. And I'm just going to say, Description, yeah, um, yeah, four stars, not five, because I'm never really fully satisfied. So um, I guess we're going to go for four stars. And description, that's where I'm going to put the free beer, because that's definitely a plus. You know, it's OK, don't worry. You can add it in the spot and the reviews. It's, at least people will get the memo. Um, so free beer and very comfy vibe, right? Um, so yeah, that's great. Now I'm going to share my review with every, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, great. So let's go to my dashboard. I've earned one more point, And now, yeah, I'm a master unicorn, guys. I've made it to the last stage. So yeah. Anyways, well, thank you so much for listening to us. Use Shiny Unicorn. It's an amazing platform. Um, share the love, everyone. I also have a blog, The Sassy Pair. You can go follow me for more um, information with my sister. Yeah, yeah, there she is. Anyways, thank you so much for listening to us. Thanks for all the team. They've been amazing. And thanks to my team. Wow. Well done, guys. Great. These three, Alison, you're quite brave to put up with these two guys for the last two weeks. Every morning, it's like you can hear Stephen and Taka literally like 100 yards down the corridor coming in. It's the, the, the hurricanes. Um, anyway, so next up, we've got Alyssa, Nikolai, Antonio, and Edouard. Um, it's, it's, real, it's, an app which, or it's an app which is a real betting with real money between your friends. Okay, it's called Bet Friends Forever, and its, it's strap line is because betting is better with Bet Friends Forever. <laughs> right? From Allison. So cool. Okay. So this is my friend, Eddie. And uh, just between me and the hundred or so of you, he's a degenerate gambler. Um, every time we go out, he's always trying to bet me and our other friends on just about anything you can think of, whether that be who's going to win the Champions League game, uh, you know, who's going to, um, let's see, what else? Oh, uh, who's going to have the best presentation at Demo Day? Oh, this one time, well, I'm not going to talk about that. Anyway, um, the problem that Eddie has is that any time we make bets, no one ever remembers the next day, you know, we're out having a good time, um, or he's a hard time collecting on his winnings. And this pisses him right the F off. So he's searched high and low for a solution, and I think he's finally found it. It's an app, and it's called Bet Friends Forever. And this app allows him to not only create, but also invite participants and even guarantee that he can collect on his winnings. So uh, tonight, we're all going out to celebrate the end of a demo day, or I'm sorry, boot camp. Um, <laughs> You know, um, me, uh, Eddie, and our friends Antonio and Nikolai. So because it's Eddie, um, you know he's going to try to turn this into a competitive situation. So he's going to start a bet. 
And what does he want to bet us on? Okay, let's, let's find out. Oh, okay, original, a drinking contest. <laughs> that sounds like him. Um, well, what are the rules of the game? I mean, how are, we gonna, how are we gonna determine the winner? Let's think about it. Oh, the fastest to finish a beer. Okay, those are pretty internationally understood terms, so that's okay. <laughs> All right, so what are the possible outcomes? Well, I'm driving. I'm designated driver, so I'm not going to be drinking. But um, uh, the participants, let's say, um, or rather the, the options uh, for winning are Antonio, um, let's see, Nikolai, and let's see, Eddie, again, he's competitive, so Edward. All right, so these are the choices. This is who you can bet on. Now it's time to set the stakes. So how much are we going to play for? 10 euros per person. Okay, that's not over the top. I think we can manage that. Now, we're going to set a window until, uh, until which you can place bets. So um, after this time, it's cut off. No more, you know, nothing else. And then he's got to invite people to participate. So it could be any of us, but since it's just the four of us going out, and again, I'm not drinking. I don't really want to be a part of it. All right. Uh, let's see. Okay, so... He's invited Antonio and Nikolai, and now he's gonna, he's gonna put his money on someone. Who's it gonna be? Oh, himself, surprise, surprise. Okay, well, oh, but he doesn't have any money. Okay, so he's gotta go make a deposit. All right, top up your account, Eddie. Okay, so he's deposited 10 euros, and now he's gotta pay for it. This is, I'm pretty sure, how identity theft happens, so. <laughs> Great. All right, you're asking for it, but whatever. Let's see. And done. Okay, so now he's uh, topped up his account. And let's see, he's got a confirmation. He's deposited 10 euros, so he's in it to win. He can now participate. So let's see, it's time for him to put his money where his mouth is. Is he still feeling confident in himself? Yes. Okay. Cool. So in the meantime, you know, our window's still open. We have other people who can participate in the bet. Right now, it's just Eddie, just the one participant. There's only 10 in the pool. Oh, wait, Nikolai wants in. Okay, and he's bet on himself. Again, like this is, again, I'm not surprised. I mean, this is Germany versus Belgium now, so <laughs> the heat is on. Uh, let's see, well, we've got a little bit more. Oh, crap, okay, now it's Antonio, who has also bet on himself. Portugal's in the mix now, too. So we've got some time. You know, the big events tonight. Um, there's a lot of shit talking going back and forth. I'm sorry, don't put that on. Um, let's see. So now we see the pool is up to three people. 30 euros total is the jackpot. Um, 27 seconds to go. We're going to see if we get any more beds in. Uh, the fastest to finish a beer. And... <laughs> Congratulations, uh, you placed a bet on Edward, so uh, good luck. You know, we're getting down to it, guys. So, you know, we're getting ready to go out. We're going to make it up pretty soon here. Demo day is wrapping up. Um, any more betters? Any more takers? No, I'm pretty sure everyone knows how this is going to end. Okay, bet window's closed. No more bets. Fast forward to tonight, and we're at the bar. All right. Game on, go, guys. On your... Go. Oh! Surprise, surprise. Weird. Eddie wins. Okay, well, now it's time to choose a winner. So, uh, the creator of the bet, in this case, Eddie, also the winner, uh, has to select himself. He will confirm this, and he's won. And look, his balance has magically increased to 30 euros. I think we know where that came from. Better luck next time, Portugal and Germany. Um, congratulations, Eddie. Thank and uh, thank you all very much for uh, you know putting up with us and our drinking problem. And uh, <laughs> great job, you guys. Um, thank you.
So we've never had a drinking competition before in 70 batches around the world. So anyway, as you can see, our apps can be mobile optimized to uh, show a proper app. Is it working? It is working. Um, anyway, so thanks, dudes. Very, very funny. And very good build as well. That's a cool app. Um, right, so next up we have a project called Desk Joy. The team is Fahad, Harry, Kit, and Ralph. It's a social and practical way of finding desk space to work with like-minded people. Thank you. Over to you guys. Hi, everyone. My name is Fahad. I'm a graphic designer. Uh, I just finished my course in the graphic design, and I'm looking to rent a desk, but I want to work in, with people in the same industry. I want to work as a freelancer. So I asked my friend for help. He gave me this website, DeskJoy, so you can find workspace within your industry. Uh, this is the website. You can here will tell you how the website will work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let me sign in. I'm signed in. I live in London. I'll, I don't mind walking within 10 miles. Uh, I work as a graphic designer. Yep. Okay. Uh, I will definitely need Wi-Fi, and I need cafe, restaurant, showers because I'm going to spend most of the day at work. Okay. I live near Soho, so yeah, that would be suitable for me. Okay. Let's view the space. There's some pictures of the space. Cool. And about the space, the location, and the amenities available. And we have two available desks. That's amazing. Uh, let's read a bit about the host. That is some information about him, his contact details, and also he hosts more than one space. That's cool. He must be experienced. Okay. Back. Yeah. Cool. I think this space is suitable for me. Let's choose fixed desk. I'm working on a project, so it will take me about a week. I'm going to book it from 11th to the 16th. Cool. That's my booking summary. It will be between the 11th and the 16th. The total amount is 100 pounds. Location, available amenities, and picture of the space. Let's pay. Yeah. Cool, I paid. And this is my booking confirmation. Let's go back to my dashboard. OK, I have two bookings now as a graphic designer. OK, let's, let's say after three years, because I'm amazing, my business went well, I <laughs> rented a big space, and I have two desks available to rent. Let's become a host. My company name is Blink Creative, and 12 Bunhill Street. Cool. As industry graphic design, and a bit about my company. <laughs> and we have kitchen, kitchen, <laughs> showers. Yeah, that's it. Let's add pictures. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Okay, so down this the page of MySpace, pictures, and some information, location, and the amenities available. But I don't have any desks available. Let's add the desk. And down. Yep. Okay. Uh, it's 13 pounds per day, and it's hot desk. Yeah, and now it's available to book as well. That's it. 
That's it. Uh, the website gonna work in London, London now. Within, we hope very soon it's gonna work all around the UK. And that's it. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Liwago. Thank you, my team. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Awesome, Bert. Harry was waiting for that copy and paste all day. He loved it. <laughs> <laughs> that was the moment. Great tech. Yeah. Anyways, sorry, dude. Sorry, mate. So next up, uh, we've got Tio, Remy, Joy, and Evan. We have here a premium live streaming platform for influencers to interact with their followers. It's called Social Life. All right, cool. So last pitch, let's do this. Um, so I'm going to quickly introduce myself. Uh, my name is Theodore. I'm 29 years old. I'm a student at Le Wagon. And I have a passion for technology and the whole startup tech environment. Actually, so much of a passion that I am what we can call an influencer in the technology space. And as an influencer, I have a, a pain point, which is that I find it very hard to connect with my audience in a truly interactive way. But luckily enough, two days ago, I found an amazing website called Social Life TV that allows me to live stream uh, private interactive sessions uh, with my audience. So I guess the best is I show you how it works quickly. So let's quickly just sign in. I'm going to sign in with Facebook, which is faster. So I'm just going to put my credentials quickly. Yep, and we're done. So because I just finished a coding bootcamp, I'm going to do a private live stream session tomorrow about coding and boot camps. So I'm just going to go on this uh, go live button and create a live stream session. So the title is going to be, is coding bootcamp the right thing for you? So I'm going to just uh, put this as a title. Uh, description, I think code is hard. We know this, uh, but it's worth it. Uh, I'm going to do this. Oh, but it's, yeah, it's worth it. Trust me. <laughs> so it's going to be tomorrow at about 6, 6 p.m. Yep, 6 p.m. Cool. And the category is obviously technology because it's coding. Uh, I want to restrict the number of participants in this chat room to 100 people because I don't want too many people chatting at the same time and I want to keep it very interactive. And the price of the ticket to enter the session is going to be at about, I don't know, 10 rubies. That's about one pound. It's not too expensive. I think we can afford it. And at last, I put a picture. Uh, it's a good picture. Um, what do we have? Social Live. Yeah, that's good. That's really good. <laughs> All right, cool. So we're done. So now we've created the live stream. Um, so on this page, we can see that the live stream starts in 22 hours. Uh, we can see that there's some info, we can scroll down, see that there's some, some info about me so that my, my fan base can you know, just get some information with all my upcoming live streams, my pictures, you know, my fans. Um, <laughs> yeah. And before I, I go, um, maybe I can just put something in the chat. Let's say, um, hey guys, um, if you have any questions before we start the stream tomorrow, just you know, let me know and I'll reply ASAP. So that you know they can come on the platform and you know start chatting with me before before the stream. Um, oh, and it seems like we have already a participant in the stream, Evan. Oh, he seems excited. He's 18. Is that too young? Um, no, dude. There, there's. Uh, you're never too young to code. Like, I mean, it, it's absolutely fine. We'll we'll discuss it tomorrow. So I'm just gonna put that in the chat. Oh, this guy is definitely gonna be there tomorrow. OK, cool. OK, so now I just need to get ready and prepare for this live stream session tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm going to get some inspiration on this website you know, see what's up. So I'm just going to go back to the home page. Uh, what do I need? Um, I'm actually, you know, I love technology, but I'm terrible you know, in fashion. And I have a terrible style. So I'm just going to check if there's something interesting in fashion that could help me. So I'm just going to go in the search bar and type for you know, fashion, see if there's anything interesting. OK, so what do we have? Spring wardrobe overhaul. Not really. Dressed in impressive French. That, that could do it. Uh, <laughs> what, else, what else do we have? 
an American way, <laughs> and then, oh, how to dress on social.tv, that's, that's interesting. Okay, so I'm just gonna go on this, find out what, what about it. Okay, interesting, so it's, it's started already, so it's 10 rubies, not really expensive, so I'm just gonna just, yeah, buy a ticket. So I click on buy a ticket, I have no more rubies, my balance is at zero, I just need to go buy rubies quickly. Um, yeah, 500 rubies for 20 pounds, and sounds like a good deal. Um, I'm just gonna use Edward's card numbers. <laughs> That's just something I do. <laughs> Thanks, Edward. Um, all right, cool, so we're set to go. So we're just gonna go back to the, the session, and we're just gonna buy this ticket. <coughs> and we can see that Joy is already online. Oh. Oh, that that's, looks like a cool guy. Hey, Peter! <laughs> How are you doing this, man? Um, it's good to have you here. So we're talking with the guys about dressing up in shortage and for tech events and stuff like that. Do you have okay. any questions for us? Yeah, we should ask him, you know, should I wear a t-shirt or a shirt maybe? I don't know. I'm terrible at this. I hope he'll reply. Cool looking guy. I can trust him. And even if you want, check your shirt. You look a bit edgy on the side as well, so it's kind of <laughs> not a really great t-shirt with a black cardigan on. Oh, damn. How does he know that? <laughs> That's terrible. Um, okay. Hats? Oh, there's... Yeah. There's... All good hats. Always works. Perfect. Oh, I see. I could stay there all day. I mean, that's fantastic. <laughs> okay. Oh, Francine donated rubies. Yeah. <laughs> that's really cool. Okay. Well. Okay, well, I think that's it. We don't have time to stay all day. I mean, I would. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's it, you know. We're, um, my team and I, so Remy, Evan, who's somewhere, and Joy, who's just in the room. Oh, Joy's here, actually. <laughs> um, so we build this. I think we're gonna go ahead and build this stuff. You know, we, we you know, are kind of passionate about the whole streaming stuff that's going on right now. And so, yeah, we just wanna do to streaming what Medium did to blogging. And so if you want to come discuss with us, you know, stuff about streaming and you're interested, just, you know, come to us. And voila, that's it. And thank you, Wagon, too. Right. Well done, dude. Cheers. Do you want to say something? Uh, yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, I want to say thank you to the Wagon, thanks to all the teachers, thanks to Boris, Romain, Seb, Ed. Um, you know, I'm not going to tell all the names of the people. Hugo is here, so I'm going to tell his name too. And um, Sandrine is here. No, there's so many people that, amazing people at Le Wagon. Alex. Alex. I thought I said Alex already. I'm going to say Alex twice. And um, yeah, thanks so much. It was, it was an amazing boot camp. I loved it. Well done. Dude. Amazing. Awesome. Um, well, I can't believe it. That's it, guys. Well done, those were awesome products. Really, really cool. And you're an awesome bunch of people. I can't believe it's kind of over. It's going, those nine weeks are just going like that. Alison, come back. Um, but on a serious note, like you're, firstly, well done again. But on a serious note, you're part of this Levagon family now forever and ever. It's a huge network, 20 cities, massive communities with huge connections and all the capital cities that we're based in and other cities, and we're growing. And use it, you know, it's, uh, it's really cool and it works for everyone and all our alumni absolutely are taking full advantage of it. So well done and thank you so much guys. And you've done so well, lots and lots of courage to give up your old life, start a new life and just go for it, learn a whole new language. So you can give yourselves a massive pat on the back and that was awesome. Thank you. Um,